question is from RC Jr. 1209. When getting back into shape, where or when do mobility workouts come into play? We are not working with a personal trainer. Yeah, m mobility workouts come into play day one and forever. Um, yeah. there, there's never a there's never not a place for mobility workouts. Now, it's maybe, actually probably a great place to start. Oh, it's for uh, a lot of people. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you mean the focus? Like, yeah, like, you most know, the focus? like, like when this person's before asking, you lift weights. Right, 100%. right. Yeah, right. When you're getting back into shape. In fact, this is a, an excellent place uh, to start. I tell you what, uh, if I. I haven't been in this place in a very long time where I'd fallen completely out of shape and I and I hadn't been exercising and working out. But I I'm I've learned so much more about um, mobility today in the last or in the last probably five years than I had in the previous uh, decade of training. And what I know now, if I were to have started all over again or came from being way out of shape and then getting back in the gym, I probably would have spent the first month doing mostly all mobility work mm -hmm. and very little strength training. It would be all because you're going to get some carryover from that. If you haven't been training at all, you're, you're pretty weak and actually just holding your body weight up and doing mobility type of movements, you're going to build a little bit of strength. And more importantly, you're going to get those joints moving more optimally before you go into starting to do strength training and lifting heavy. So, uh, yeah, where does it where does it play? Fuck, it plays a huge role and should be a major priority for everybody, but it's most certainly for somebody who's deconditioned. Yeah, and, the, and the two, re I mean, there's two main reasons why it's, it should always play a role. One, the obvious, it's going to prevent injury. You know, working on mobility is one of the best insurance policies you have against chronic pain or even acute injury from workouts. Now, the second reason is less obvious. The second reason is this, with improved mobility, and remember this, mobility means longer or, or ranges of motion that you have control over. So it's not just the fact that you have greater ranges of motion, like, oh, now I can touch my toes, whereas I couldn't before. It's also, do I have strength and control in that range of motion? That's what mobility is. It's complete ownership of how you move. And that reduces injury, like I said earlier. But it also does something else. This is not so obvious. It gives you better results. Because I can work through greater ranges of motion, and because I own those greater ranges of motion, I'm going to activate more muscle fibers when I'm exercising. I'm going to make all the exercises that I do far more effective, and all of that's going to give me better results. And we know this through studies. Um, if you take uh, you know, groups of people and you have some of them perform half squats, and then you have the other group perform full squats, both under good control with good mobility – the people doing the full squats are going to get better results. They're just going to get better results all the way around, generally speaking. So mobility work, because some people think, ah, I don't want to waste my time doing mobility. I'm only interested in building muscle. I'm only interested in looking good, and I don't hurt, so there's no need for me to do mobility work. Well, the truth is if you want to maximize your results, then you should be working on improving mobility because it's going to give you better results. Yeah, it's so interesting to me because, uh, again, I mean, we always kind of come back to like a car analogy, but – uh, in terms of like having just like parts of the car not working at its best, right? Say, so, say like even the the tires, for instance, are like low in pressure, and now I want to like keep increasing, you know, the engine's torque, and like I get more horsepower, and I get more. Like, what is that going to do in towards in terms of like propelling the car forward? It's not going to do a whole lot. Okay, mm -hmm. so it, it you look at your joints if they're not working properly if you don't have the ability to stabilize properly your your body is not going to allow for you know more force production it's not going to allow for you to then build you know more strength it, it, and if you do it's going to come to a, a headway where you know at that point it's it's going to become a problem where you, you're applying too much force but you can't handle it and mm. so then it's going to break you know what the irony is too about mobility work this is this is the, the funny irony and this is something that I learned as a trainer, you know, probably five years in. I know you guys uh, feel the same way. And any trainer who's listening who's been working with a lot of people has learned this, that the most value that you'll ever provide a client ever that will give you the most clients, will give you the most value where you could charge the most money, that people actually in reality value more than anything else, is your ability to keep them pain-free. No joke. Like getting people to lose weight, getting people to build muscle and get stronger, that also has lots of value. But nothing is more valuable than when I get, you know, Mr. Johnson, who's 43 years old, and I got him to move better, and now his back doesn't hurt and his hips move well, and he feels like he's younger and he's moving good. That's the thing that keeps him coming. That's the thing that, that gives him the most value. 
And the irony of that is we sell fitness so much based off of fat loss and muscle building. If we just communicated this mobility you know, point well, I bet you we'd get more everyday people working out and doing resistance. I really do. Mm-hmm. I think if people really understood what resistance training could do when, it, when, when it applied to mobility and they experience it, they'd be more likely to stick to their workouts, more likely to be consistent. Because the weight loss and muscle building thing, you know, short term, that's great. But long term, at some point, you're like, I don't want to keep trying to lose weight. I don't want to keep trying to build muscle for the rest of my life. But geez, I feel great. I feel really good. I move good. Right. Like I think if we sold it right, the irony is that the mobility aspect is probably what will get the average person to pick up some weights and work out with weights consistently. 